19 points from Stacy Davis. Another big defensive effort and a heart-stopping finish added up to a 50 to 47 victory for the Pepperdine men's basketball team over San Diego in the quarterfinals of the WCC tournament. The fourth seeded Waves are moving on to the semifinals for the first time since 2004 and will play the winner of the Gonzaga versus San Francisco matchup. Davis carried the team on his back first half, scoring 12 of the Waves' 18 first half points and finished with a game high 19. Pepperdine held USD to 31.7 shooting for the game, but trailed 24 to 18 at the break. Jeremy Major started off second half with a 9-0 run with a three-pointer, which gave Pepperdine its first lead of the game at 27 to 26. After shooting 48% in the second half, with the help from Sean Olden and Jeremy Major seven points apiece, the rest of the game saw four ties and five lead changes. 6.48 on the clock, David Jesperson with the three-pointer, tying it 39-39. to Three minutes to go, Sean Olden hits a three-pointer to put the Waves ahead 46-43. to the Waves went back up 48 to 45 with two minutes left on an off-balance jumper in the lane by Davis. That set up the game's exciting finish. Waves win 50 to 47, advancing to the semifinals. And I'm excited because we took care of the ball in the second half. That was a big difference of the game, only having three turnovers in the second half. And we told our guys, when we take care of the ball, good things happen. We score, we get fouled, we get a great shot. Okay, we may not always score, but if we get a great shot, we can live with that. Um, that was, that was the, the main thing. I thought uh, defensively in the second half, we went to, to switching our ball screens uh, because we had some confusion where we just switched one through five. Um, and I thought that delayed them on some of their, uh, their, their opportunities as well. But uh, we told our guys it doesn't matter how, how it looks. Doesn't matter how it looks. Um, we had a we had a, a, a goal uh, and a mindset for the week. We talked about the bottom line, and our bottom line was we were going to be playing on Monday. Didn't matter what we needed to do, how we did it, how it looked. The bottom line, we wanted to be playing on Monday. You know, it was it was a pretty physical battle. You know, they have um, some some really physical um, post players down there, and uh, Jito Coke, Brandon Perry. And, um, you know, it was a battle the whole night. Um, I had to work for everything I got. I had to work for every rebound I got. And, you know, I'm just glad, you know, we were able to pull out the win. Um, I think it was a collective effort. You know, our, our team came together, um, you know, through some lulls and just, you know, we just came back and battled. And, um, you know, I'm just happy. I, I'm at a loss for words. I'm just excited. You know, my first, my first um, WCC conference tournament win. So, um, you know, it's a good feeling. They did their homework on Stacy and just making, making him play in the crowd the whole night and us as well. Uh, we knew that, you know, they wanted to get D the ball. So all week we've been preparing, preparing, and we knew what we had to do. And this morning at breakfast, uh, you know, our assistant coach, Coach Amaral, had us even call out what each player does and how they're going to and how they're going to score. We knew their sets, everything. So it came. I know it was going to come down to, you know, your second, your third, your fourth option. And uh, that's that's why it was a low scoring game. And this came down who's going to execute their offense better and who's going to execute defense better. And that's what it came down to.